it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and I am starting off 2022 with what I think is a brand new Cricut hack. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys. Um, I would love it if you guys told me, um, well, confirm whether or not I do think that I'm the inventor of this Cricut hack. <laughs> so I swear I have never seen this before. Um, but before we get to it, if you can subscribe, I would totally appreciate it. You know, I love, I appreciate all the support, um, whether it's likes, comments, questions, questions are comments, I guess, um, follows and definitely subscribers, but all right. Um, okay. Back to my groundbreaking news. So I'm sure that we've all done this at some point where we bought new vinyl or a new type of HTV. So like. You know, normally maybe you just use the regular HTV color, but then you switched over to HTV glitter or HTV metallic, and then you go and cut it on your Cricut and it ends up overcutting. So you cut through your transfer sheet. And a lot of times we don't want that, right? Because you have something like this where you're doing, sorry, I have lots of examples today. Um, this is Belle's hair, right? So you can see, I think when I counted this, this was 15 separate pieces, right? So we want it all on one sticky carrier sheet because we're going to lay this down on a shirt, for instance, and it'll press and it'll be perfectly in, in place, aligned. Um, we want it all on one carrier sheet, right? But I'm here to tell you, I think there are times when we don't want it all on one sheet, where it would be awesome if it cut completely through and it was like cardstock, right? Where you lift up. Like, I'm gonna show you, this is gonna blow your mind. Like this little mandala. This is a tiger. And the reason why I chose this is, I was born the year of the tiger. It's the year of the tiger come January, or February 1st and I saw this and I wanted to do it. So look at the way I'm holding it. First of all, it cut completely through, right? It's as if it's cardstock, but it's HTV. Can you see how it's HTV, like the, the background? It's like a little holographic. I'm gonna put this on. Um, let me see. I am gonna put it on this hoodie and I will be wearing it because I think it's such a cool, um, cool design, not only that, but the material, I don't think you can really see, but I promise you when we do this, um, this is going to be beautiful. It's got little specks. It's like a holographic, like a dark holographic. I think it's so cool. Here's the cool thing about the weeding. So normally if we did this, right, it would be, hold on, I'm going to show you my desk. I don't know what you think this is on my desk. If you thought it was confetti, it's actually all the weeded pieces so far that I've done. Um, oh, wait, before I show you that, this is part of that tiger. So I'm gonna flip it over so you can see it, how it lifts up. So this was my tiger, it cut, I made sure that it cut through everything so that when I lifted this up, all the weeded parts would stay on the mat and I wouldn't have to weed this. Normally, every space that you see on here, um, let me give something so that it's easier to see. Everything that you see in brown, we would have needed to use, you know, like our weeding tool, right? And pick at it and pull it up. Look at all the pieces that I did not need to weed. I just lifted this up as if it was cardstock. The nice thing is it does feel like cardstock because the carrier sheet is still on here. The other thing is it's not sticky because there's no excess carrier sheet. The carrier sheet is covered by the HTV, so it looks and acts like cardstock right now. But uh, when I go to put this down on my sweatshirt, I'm gonna heat it and it's gonna stick because it is HTV, right? I mean, tell me that's not a cool hack, right? Okay, this would only work. Let's talk about when you should do this, okay. You should do it when it's all connected, right? Like this. This is technically one piece. This is the perfect type of project to do this, where you would just lift it up like you would cardstock, and it's all one piece. Literally, like a, 
I don't know, five minutes, if that. I pulled it off the mat. There were some pieces that stuck like cardstock. You know how you need to poke it through? But that is so much easier than weeding. Because let me show you what I'm currently weeding, which is driving me insane. But I'm doing it for a point. And I've, you know, um, I'm sure you guys, you know, start to know all the personalities of the people that you watch. Um, I don't like super... Uh, like weeding is just not my thing, okay? This is my owl. And I'm gonna move it all in. I mean, this is an hour of weeding. Look at this. I had to go in and pull out each one of these little pieces. I'm hating life right now. This is one hour in. I'm doing it because I recorded it to prove my point that something like this would be better off over cutting where we would just peel it off like we just did the tiger mandala. All right, the other, um, the other example or scenario where I think this would work really, really well is for something like this where you you know like when i originally did this i pressed this one two three four five six seven eight nine i think i pressed it nine times possibly 11 times but or no yeah right about nine times because i put down the cloud first pressed it lifted it up got rid of the transfer sheet and then i think i did the pink next right so the two pinks i may have done the pinks even yeah, I would have done it at the same time. So the pinks I would have done, um, unless I was trying to save, I was trying to be good with saving HTV. So I probably, you know what? I probably didn't keep it together. So I did the pink next, right? Pressed it for a couple seconds, lifted it off, pressed, put down the next color, pressed it, took it off. So on something like this, I think we could have pressed this in one press. So you wouldn't overheat something um, you know, anytime that you can apply less heat, I think it's better, especially on some materials where you just don't know if it's going to work, right? Like on a t-shirt, okay, fine, right? Uh, like a cotton t-shirt. But like backpacks, uh, you know, like more delicate stuff, I don't like it when I have to press it 12 times, right? So on something like that, you could, where it's not... Um, uh, let's see, could I do this? Let me think about this. I would have to press this at least two times because the cloud, I would press the cloud, pull off the transfer sheet, and then put all this stuff on top and this. So I, I stand corrected. It would, this would be two presses as opposed to the, you know, like nine, nine to 12 presses. So those would be the two scenarios where I think we should do this. That's all I have for you right now. Tell me what you think. I'm gonna give you another example. This is how I even got to this idea. Uh, like I said, I've overcut HTV plenty of times, right? And a lot of times it was because I needed to, it came in multiple pieces, like, like Bell, right? When it came out like this, then what I would have done is I would have thrown away the HTV, I would have reset my, the, you know, the settings, right? Less pressure or whatever. And then I would have recut it because I wouldn't want to manually place each one of these items. But the reason why I like put it all together is I am trying out something new, which I'm excited to share with you all as well. I'm doing a bell in HTV, but it's an off the map project. So normally I wouldn't do HTV, right? I would just do cardstock. But I want to experiment with HTV because using another medium gives us just more options to textures and colors so that your project would pop way more. So um, I what I was doing was this is, you know, Belle's earring, for example, and I wanted to use this HTV. I felt like there wasn't a cardstock that I could use that would give me that. So I have my cardstock that I'm gonna put the HTV on and I wanted I wanted it to cut out like this because I felt like it would be easier for me to line it up like this, put it on my mat, and then press. And I felt like I could get the right, you know, like it wouldn't shift on me or whatever. But I thought with the carrier sheet, for instance, it would normally look like this, right? And then I would, all this part would be sticky. I felt like it would be difficult for me to line it up like this 
deal with the stickiness and it would shift a little bit by the time I go to press it. So once I started cutting these, like ex for just some pieces, not all pieces, like the hair I'm still keeping together, right? I'm gonna press that separately like that. But for this, I just thought, oh my gosh, like this is what I wanna do. So as I was cutting more pieces, I realized, wait a minute, <laughs> for those intricate, delicate, gigantic weeding projects, everything's connected so it would work out really well. But let me show you one more thing before we get off. I'm gonna share my design space um, right now. So this is the owl that I'm currently weeding that you see over here. Um, where we're going to lose some pieces is, and we're, when I say lose, it's still there. You can still manually apply them, which is not that bad. I would rather manually apply these little dots because you see these little circles around the eyes? They're not connected to anything, right? So when I go to cut and I overcut these things, the circle will have fallen through. But I would still have the pieces. I can manually put them on and press it later. It would still, for me to manually keep track of these little dots, so it's all around the eyes and then these two dots down here, this one and this one. I searched this whole file and those are the only, and let me make this smaller so you can see the whole thing. The dots around the eyes and those two freestanding dots are the only pieces that we would lose. And personally, I kind of feel like even if they're gone from this piece, because look at these circles don't have little dots in them. So I don't think it would look weird if these didn't have circles in them. And I don't, you know, if these fall out right here, I don't think that's a big deal because look at these dots, these circles don't have little dots in them, right? So it doesn't look, odd for this owl to not have those pieces and I don't you know like I said uh, so I'm actually going to not do them with the dots because because <laughs> I'm lazy <laughs> and um I mean look at this is still beautiful I mean have you seen look at where the you know where the the wings are I mean I wanted to cry last night like I I know this is just a test and it's just to prove my point but weeding these little thingies, it was not fun. Like, I can't tell you how many times I just was like, have I done enough to prove a point? <laughs> so I made myself weed for an hour. And this is how much I got done. Um, but, you know, I know some people enjoy it, that it's therapeutic. It is not therapeutic for me. I'd rather in that hour maybe read, uh, watch uh, another episode of Yellowstone, or I don't know. There are a lot of things I can think of. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you think. I feel like this is a legit Cricut hack that I have not seen anyone else do. So unless you tell me and you, you know, please do. I mean, if there's somebody else who did it already, I will totally, because I'm going to be announcing this all over my social media accounts. And I'm going to claim that it's mine until someone else tells me differently. So, but if it happens that it's someone else, I definitely, I mean, there are some ideas where I think is brilliant. And every time I do it, I let everyone know where it originally came from. So I'm, you know, I think it just, it builds it just builds a community, right? I mean, that that's what we're all here for is like all the different hacks and stuff. But a lot of times I feel like the hacks, you know, maybe I saw it on someone's reel or someone else because I feel like I, I try to credit as much as I, as I can that I remember. But, you know, a lot of times you see it for like a split second and then, you know, two months later you do a project and you're like, oh, I have an idea, but it's been around. It's just maybe not as known. But honestly, all the stuff that I've seen on HTV, I feel like I've never seen this. I think it's happened to all of us, but we've never taken it to the next step to apply it for when it would be 
a good scenario to use. All right, I don't know. I'm feeling like it's 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 huge. <laughs> all right, thank you for following, subscribing, all that good stuff. Um, let me know you, what you wanna see. I will be finishing this up. I will be putting this on something. That tiger thing I'm gonna be wearing because I think it's so cool. It's not as intricate as this, um, and this is beautiful, but I don't know. I think it's just all that hate pent up from reading this that's keeping me from enjoying this project. All right, I'm gonna see you guys next time. I'm gonna probably have more examples. We'll see about that. All right, talk to you soon. Bye, guys.